Today I'd like to show you how to make these musical instruments making a drum from a food can and some lolly sticks and a mini banjo using a jam jar lid. If you'd like to join me, let's get started. Let's start by making the drum. To begin you need your tin can like this. Um, it could be any other um, household object. You could use a yoghurt pot or you could cut down uh, an old plastic bottle as well. Um, if you are going to use a tin can, please be very careful and uh, work with an adult because this bit at the top can be very, very sharp and I don't want you to cut yourselves. So you can wash, wash this or ask an adult to wash it for you carefully <clears throat> and then you have your tin can. The next thing we need to do is to make the top of the drum and for this I'm going to use a balloon. So if you have any balloons at home from for a birthday party or something, you can choose whatever colour you like. I've got a pink one. And with some scissors, you're going to cut just here where it gets wider. I'm going to cut that off there. Okay, and I can throw this away. Now, you may need some help for this bit. I'm going to stretch the balloon and put it over one side of the can. There we are. Whoops. Like this. And using a rubber band, I'm going to hold it in place around the top. Stretch it nice and tight. It's going to stay. Yeah, there we are. That's the main part of your drum done. Now, if you want to make it prettier, you could find some coloured paper and stick it around the top. You could secure it using some glue. And you can decorate it in any way you want to. You could use, I have some sparkly string as well, if you wanted to tie some string on, or any other stickers or paper. So, that's the main drum, done quick and easy. Now to make the beaters, I use some old lolly sticks from an ice cream and a piece of plasticine or blue tack, white tack and just take it and roll roll the plasticine into two balls one two and I'm going to put the sticks in there, there's one beater Another one. There's two. Now you're ready to play your drum. And you could use this whenever you sing nursery rhymes or songs or when we sing together at circle time. Maybe you can play your drum too. Enjoy. Now I'm going to show you how to make the banjo. And for this you will need the lid of any jar. It could be a jam jar. This one's quite small but you could do a big one as well. And on a piece of paper I'm going to draw around the lid so that I have a circle circle shape on the piece of paper cut it out and you should end up with a circular piece of paper that will fit inside your lid there you are like that it just makes it look a bit prettier uh, I'm going to decorate mine now I've got some stickers but you could use um, pens or paint or glitter, whatever you want. I think I'm going to have some blue stars. One, two, like this. This is going to be the body of my banjo. And now you need three or four or maybe five rubber bands. I have four rubber bands here. I think it's a good number. And with each one, whoop, a bit fiddly, and stretch it over the top of the body of the lid. That's one, whoop, two, and try and make them straight. Three, and your last string. So I've used the rubber bands to give strings on my banjo and you could 
gently try plucking them. Can you hear? Okay, now to secure these, I'm going to put a piece of tape, cellar tape, over the back to make sure that they don't fly off when I don't want them to. There we are, that should be nice and secure now so that the strings stay in place. Now to make the fingerboard, uh, I've got two small lolly sticks which I taped together here, but if you've got a big lolly stick or even just a piece of cardboard would do. And I'm going to stick it onto the back of the lid so that I've got the board for a banjo that looks like this. So I'm going to put this here and take my tape again. A couple of pieces to make sure it's nice and secure. There we are. And our banjo is almost ready to play. Just a final bit of decoration to do up here. Again, you could decorate it however you like. I'm going to use a black marker pen to put some frets on. Here we are. One. To make it look like a real banjo. There we are. So now you have your mini banjo that you can play when you're singing along to some songs maybe. And you have a drum that you can also have fun playing with. Maybe you can start your own family band or see what other instruments you can make from things that you have at home. Enjoy making your musical instruments and enjoy playing with them afterwards. Bye!